Okay, and welcome to Fintech Fun. This is a very quick overview of the Plaid Analytic tool. Uh, first, we'll go straight into how this is set up. We have the option of viewing customers and creating deals by customers. So, this is a way of grouping your uh, different Plaid statements together. Or another option is just to have a deal on its own not related to customers. So these are individual deals uh, which relate to Plaid transactions. So coming into here we have on the left hand side we have the bank statement view which is the ability to view all the bank statements, Plaid usage, summary and risk assessment. So going through here we can see our Plaid transactions and quickly we can go through and change the different types of statements that we want to see. So in this customer, we have a variety of statements. Uh, in addition, we can export this to PDF. So if you need for an underwriter or to send to a lender, uh, you have a very clean PDF version of the plaid. To look deeper into the customer, and understand the customer better, we have a variety of options. So here we have our usage view, which is looking into the type of usage uh, of different categories. So here we have the top categories in here, travel, food, and this is the count as well as the amounts. And here we have the debits coming in as well. So here we can see the totals and here we can see the breakdown the summary so we can either view the totals here or we can rapidly just change and look at the individual top level and subcategories. Of course the same changes applied here so now we can swap between different accounts and take the further breakdowns. Next we'll dive into our plaid summary so also our options for changing uh, the left to see the different type of accounts for that single customer is there. Uh, now we can view our data by different view. So let's just take monthly. So monthly breaks all the statements down. And here we have a whole bunch of top level metrics. So we have our average balances, balances including weekends, daily balance, daily balance excluding weekends and minimum daily ending balances, negative balances, and many, many more. NSF counts and other core metrics that are very commonly used as part of their underwriting process. So you can choose this by month or you can view by all time, seven days, 30, 60, or 90. So you can get the trending values accumulative over time giving you the ultimate trends and calculating your trend regressions as well as your credits and debits and balance regressions. So this gives you a whole series of metrics which are commonly used in this process as well as the ability to add extra ones. So as you need more metrics for your underwriting or you have specialty ones, you can add them here. Next, we'll just jump over to the API docs. So if you're interested in integrating, you have many options. This can be embedded into your application internally. It can be used as a standalone application or it can be put as a individual API call to integrate. So you can see the documentation here and many of the features that we just went through. Now, there is two ways to upload your plan. Uh, you can upload your plan as a JSON file, or you can upload by using the access token. All you need to provide us is the keys, and we will be able to fetch that data and refresh that data according to your needs. So this concept here is able to be able to get you started, able to get in-depth analytics for you and speed up your underwriting. So thank you for your time. Any questions, please let us know.